Here is a guys topic here and I just did that cool little intro because today's video is probably going to seem really boring but let me tell you it's actually very important because today we're going to be talking about proper pixel resolutions for cinematic aspect ratios. Okay, so what the hell did I just say? Proper pixel resolutions for aspect ratios. What does that mean? So basically an aspect ratio is the ratio of pixels from vertical to horizontal. And currently the camera I'm shooting on right now and like YouTube has an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. So that's the ratio basically of the size of the frame. But when you get into more cinematic things like movies, the ratio may change to 1.85 to one, 2.35 to one, or even 2.39 to one, which is the most cinematic and most used in movie theaters aspect ratio for films. So all that is good and all, but we actually have to be able to apply these aspect ratios to our editing projects to be able to properly edit in that aspect. I always used to just edit in a standard 16 by nine aspect ratio editing window, which is standard and what it will come up with when you first open it. And to create different aspect ratios, I would basically just create a letterbox, which is just to add little black bars on the top and bottom of your frame to kind of simulate the proper cinematic aspect ratio. But I don't do that anymore because I learned that it's wrong and you should never do that because all it does is crops in on your image and basically just creates a black image on the top and bottom, which isn't really creating that aspect ratio that you want. So if you're ever creating a project that is not 16 by nine and you wanna create a cinematic aspect ratio that is different than that, you actually have to put in the proper pixel ratio for the resolution that you're shooting in. So just for an example, in Final Cut Pro, if you wanna do this custom setting, you just go to your project settings, go to custom, and it will let you enter the proper pixels for horizontal and then vertical ratios. But if you don't know what the proper pixel ratios are, this really means nothing. So that was just a long segue into what I'm gonna be talking about today, which is the proper ratios for different resolutions to get that cinematic aspect ratio. So here I'm just gonna be talking about 1080p and 4K footage, the proper ratios for four different cinematic aspect ratios. But if you wanna see a bunch of other ones from 720p up until 5K, I will leave a link down below from a website that shows you all of those super well. So the first ratio is just 16 by nine, which is the standard. And so for 1080p footage, it's gonna be 1920 pixels horizontally and 1080 pixels vertically. The second aspect ratio is 1.85 to one. And this for 1080p footage, will be 1920 horizontally by 1038 vertically. Next up we have my favorite which is 235 to one and this for 1080p footage will be 1920 horizontally by 817 vertically. And finally the ratio that is used in the movie theaters which is 2.39 to one is gonna be 1920 horizontally by 803 vertically. So those are four of the most cinematic aspect ratios for 1080p footage and their pixel ratios. So now I'm gonna be talking about their 4K counterparts. So these are the same aspect ratios, but just with the pixel resolutions for 4K footage instead of 1080p. So first up with the 4K footage, we have the standard, which is 16 by nine. And in 4K, that is gonna be 4096 horizontally by 2304 vertically. So secondly, we have 185 to one, which in 4K, that is gonna be 4096 horizontally by 2214 vertically. So third, we have 235 to one, which in 4K is gonna be 4096 horizontally by 1679 vertically. And finally, the movie theater aspect ratio that I keep talking about, which is 239 to one, is gonna be in 4K, 4096 horizontally by 1728 vertically. So those were just a bunch of different numbers and without much context, they would just seem like gibberish. But I hope now you have a bit better understanding on why you should use these different pixel resolutions and how to enter them into your projects to create these cinematic aspect ratios in a proper way instead of just adding the letterbox like I used to do. Again, I'll leave the link to the website with all of them down below, but that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.